Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. You know, I, I've got all four trucks out. All the guys are out. All the boys are out there doing everything we can to try to keep up with the demand. Uh, we are getting extremely busy. Uh, hurricane season is just right there. I mean, we're in hurricane season, but if you live here in Florida, you understand that hurricane season actually is you know, the end of August, September, and the beginning of October. And we're doing everything we can trying to keep up. Um, this is my third shirt, like I said. Uh, it's quite hot. Hang in there. We're going to get to you as soon as possible. Okay, so we're out here cleaning a channel drain, a micro channel drain. And you can see the channel drain right down here. And we're going to send our mini jetter down through that line. The problem here is that the channel drain is under the pavers. So this water really can't escape fast enough for it to dissipate. So when it rains, of course, this area floods. We're going to send that jetter down the line. Line comes down. And you can see all the mold and algae on the floor. Comes right over to the wall. Terrible. Comes all the way over. We had to pull pavers, drill a hole here, because the jetter will not make a 90. So we're going to go in here, the second line, and clean this direction. And we'll pull all that debris back. It'll just bubble up right out here. We also found the line out here. And you can see it just discharges into the dirt. That's why the system doesn't work. <laughs> so I actually see this quite a bit. And what we can do, rather than cut out the channel drain, which is very expensive to do, is we can actually drill holes using our hammer drill and our core bit right down through the paver you know do three four five however many we need to allow this water to drop into the system really a straightforward problem um, not expensive great project for the do-it-yourselfer so you can see that cable going through the line very easily what we'd like to see is some jet action coming through these pavers but I don't think that we will there's actually a sand base under the pavers but all good all good all right let it go all the way to the end So he just went all the way to that wall in just a matter of seconds. So now he's going to pull it back slowly, slowly. <laughs> And what we're going to do is watch and see. You can see all that sand coming out of that line. There's tremendous amounts of sand. Can you see how gritty that is? Just full of sand. Just full. Looks real good though. Looks real good. Coming on back. Coming on back. Looks real good. So, so you can see all the sand on this on this nozzle. See all that all that sand on there, and you can see the jet. So let's pull it on back. Go in again. All the way. Let it go. You can see how fast this goes. It just pulls itself all the way through the line. It hit, we actually hit the 90 at the other end down there. We'll pull it back again. Pull it back. And that line will be clean. So remember what we're doing. I had to drill a hole right there in the channel drain, pull the pavers. Now we're going to send the jet down through there. Get it down in there before you start. This thing is full of sand. It's, it's so backed up. Okay, that's good. Now we can, we can fire it up. It's going to fire out of here. You can see that. Look at that. It's pulling that mud out of there like you wouldn't believe. Let's 
looking good. This line only goes right to here. So we're only going like 15 feet. And you'll notice over here that the water is actually coming out over here. So we're in good shape over here. Remember that they left the tape on here. So we're going to pull that piece off. That way the water can escape a little bit. We're going to leave an estimate to go from the end of the channel drain to a low spot back in the backyard and discharge this properly. So you can really see it from this angle. Um, Great Lanai is quite old. They have a beautiful pool. It's actually salt water. And, but that water runs across the pavers and when it rains hard, it's just flooding right up and coming right up to the bottom of those sliding glass doors. Why? Because there's pavers across the channel drain. It doesn't allow that water to escape fast enough. Yes, it's graded this direction, but over a period of time, this has sunk. So now we have low spots here and here. And you can see the algae it's growing all through here. It's all, all over the place. The same thing occurs here. You can see it's all wet, the algae. Water sits here, and of course, when it rains hard, that water is just running right back up, almost coming into the home. So, like I said, we can clean the line, I hope. <laughs> but more than that, we can drill holes through the pavers every five feet, as many feet, 10 feet, just to help that water as it comes across the patio drop into the channel system and be carried away. Hey, sorry for being so sweaty. It's quite warm here in Florida. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. This basin does not work. And I get a lot of things. I see so many things on YouTube and they're really cool ideas, but this does not work. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.